Hey nerds and welcome back to another video. If you're a bit like me, you're surfing AliExpress all the time. I'm addicted to AliExpress. There's a greatest source of strange hardware on the planet. So while I was on my merry ways over there, I stumbled across this little one. This is a simple USB to serial converter. You have them lying around in abundance normally. But this one has USB-C, so I was intrigued because, yeah, slowly but surely I'm migrating to USB-C everywhere because it's simply the time for it. So I thought, well, this sounds easy. It's a CH340E, so it's a pretty known chip. This is the normal chip you find on, say, a Wemos D1 in a very, very, very tiny package. It provides me with 3.3 volt. It has a TX, TX, RX, of course it has as It even has DTR on that. So there could be some possibilities for a reset circuit. And of course, 5 volts is on, on the board. So, uh, so sounds like a no-brainer, eh? And here it is. So the little PCB has everything we need, everything I described before. Uh, Keep an eye on this. There are two LEDs on that. This is one is a power LED and one is a TXRX LED. So we're going to need them in a second. Okay, let's hook it up. So let's simply go for this. The thing on the right is my Lenovo Yoga. So this one prefers USB 3 over everything else. So let's connect it. And now the little one. Hmm, there's no sign of life, no power LED coming up, no nothing. My device manager on the computer doesn't tell me that there's a COM port listed somehow. So, well, maybe this one is broken. I'll try another one. I say a regular buyer on Azure AliExpress, you know that. Don't buy only one. You normally buy at least three because there's always a chance that one is broken. But the second one I try, I'm trying right here doesn't do anything at all. So uh, let's change the cable. Maybe the cable is broken. And more bad news, a second cable doesn't do the trick. Still no sign of life. Let me be sure that I didn't kill my notebook. So I'll grab my phone over here, connect this. And of course it tells me I am charging. And don't look at the desktop picture. This is not for you. So... Did we get a bad batch? No, we didn't. And let me show you how I know. Just let me add a small hub to the whole circuit. This is simply a USB-C to normal USB hub, a four port thingamajig. Let me connect this to the computer. And now, of course, I have to use a lead like this. This is a USB-C and there's a normal USB. So let me connect these. Of course, it's the wrong way around. It is always the wrong way around. And now let me grab my little device over here. And so what the heck happened here? I will explain in a second. Uh, if you want to guess around and leave this something in the comments, now is the time to pause the video and type away. Let me hear your thoughts about what happens there and why it's not working. By the way, I see a device in the device manager on the machine. So this is working now. Okay, you made your guesses. All right, here's the solution. Our problem is USB-C. And the problem is with our beloved USB-C, it's intelligent. It isn't dumb. Especially the ports on my computer aren't dumb. Before they start to put out any sort of voltage, there is a communication protocol running in the background asking, hey, what kind of voltage do you want? How many current do you need? And then, and only then, the ports on my computer start to put out any voltage. This is not like it's done in USB 2 and USB 1, because there's always 5 volts. But since you can do PD over USB-C, there must be some communication where both sides talk to each other and get the right voltages sorted out. So on your USB-C connector, there is a pin or pins called CC, control channel. There's really a communications protocol for that. And for normally this requires the interaction of some kind of a CPU uh, that puts out the right values over here. 
there's a dumped down version for that. You can simply go and uh, use the CC pins and do a, I think it should be 500 ohms resistor to ground. And it should put out five volts at one amp or something like that. I'm not final with that. If, if I'm wrong here, please correct me in the comments. But uh, this would be the normal way to do this if you don't have any communication chip there that can tell USB-C, hey, please put out some voltage over here. I need something, something, something. This should be the stupid version. And it looks like our little PCB over here, yeah, they forgot the resistor. And um, of course, the CH340E can't do the communication protocol to handle out the right voltages over here. So, yeah, neat because now I have USB-C as a USB to serial adapter. But on the other side, I have to use an adapter on my computer and go back to USB 2 on the computer side. So, not a win for me. I think I wait for the next PCB version of that. And I hope now they include some resistor or something, something, and the next revision will work because this is pretty unusable if you want to use plain USB-C everywhere. So uh, not a tip to buy. Maybe avoid this and maybe wait for the next version of it. Well, guys, thanks for watching. This is a short one. We do the in a week probably shorter and the at the weekend a bit longer. So... Uh, I hope you learned something today. I hope this was a bit informative. So, guys, see you in the next one. Keep hacking. Bye.